Hello friends, welcome back to another session of data structures. In today's class, I'm going to discuss one more lab experiment, which is to write a Python program to implement a simple cache using hashing. Uh, so what is meant by a cache? A cache is a high speed data storage layer that temporarily holds frequently accessed or recently used data. So the goal is here for speeding up subsequent accesses to that particular data. Uh, it acts like a buffer between a slower, larger storage medium, such as like your hard disk drive or main memory, and a faster, smaller storage medium, such as like your CPU cache or RAM. Caches are used extensively in computer systems at various levels to improve performance by reducing latency and increasing data throughput. So we do have many types of cache, like CPU cache, web cache, database caches, and then disk caches, etc. So there are different strategies of uh, implementing the cache technique. Like it could be like simple cache. Uh, so each and every type of the technique strategy differs in the way in which like the data is accessed or the data is stored. So there are many strategies like first in, first out, or least recently used and most recently used and so on. So here in this program, I'm going to show you how to implement a cache with the strategy that is least recently used. So what is the role of a hash table in this particular LRU cache? So the role of a hash table is to store that key value pair. So each cache item is stored as a key value pair here, where the key represents the unique identifier of the cache data, like it could be the memory address or the file name and so on. And the value contains the actual data or a reference to it. So this is one of the reasons uh, for using a hashing. And another reason for using hash table is to get efficient lookup. So the hash table provides faster lookup by hashing the keys and mapping them to the corresponding buckets within the table. So we can get or access the keys within the constant time period. So that's the purpose of the hash table in the LRU cache. So let me explain you the caching uh, with an example. So here in the caching, we'll be using certain data structures. So the first data structure that we'll be using is a doubly linked list and the other one is a hash table itself. So there are two operations uh, that we are going to discuss. One is a get operation and the other one is a put operation. So the put operation will be putting the key value pair into the cache and then the get operation will be getting the item. So we'll see how these operations take place. So say for example, the size of the cache is two. So you can see here that I have given the size of the cache to be two. So the uh, cache can only store two items. And then we are using a put operation. So this is the key and this is the value. One is the key and 100 is the value. So I'm going to put one and 100. So one comma 100. So what happens is like there will be a doubly linked list that is maintained. So inside the doubly linked list, like we'll be putting the key value so the key is one and the value is 100, right? So this particular uh, node that is being created will have an address. So say for, for example, the address of this particular node is 5000. The capacity of the cache is two and it is empty. So we can uh, put this particular uh, uh, key value one and 100 into the cache, okay? So directly it goes. So uh, a doubly linked list is maintained, as I said, like there will be uh, the head and the tail will be pointing to the same uh, node itself. So what is the use of the hash table? So inside the hash table, like the key and the address of it. So what is the key? Key is one and the address of the node is 5000. So one and 5000 will be stored in the hash table for the constant time lookup. Okay, right. So one has gone into the cache. So next we'll be seeing how to put two and 200. So this is, we want to put one more key value pair, which is uh, two and 200. So two is the key and 200 is the value. So again, it checks for the capacity. So the capacity of the cache is two, right? So there is only one item in the cache. So we can add two into the cache, but here we just need to look up for the strategy, which is nothing but least recently used. So what we'll be doing here is the least recently used node will be at the head and the most recently used one will be at the tail. So we'll be adding two over here. So another node will be created. So two and 200. And then 
there will be a link from the first node to the second node and the second node will have a link to the previous node and then this will be null and tail will come over here so this will be tail so among one and two the least recently used is one so one will be at the head okay and then so there will be an address for the second node. So say for example, the address is 5,500. So we are adding the key, which is two, and then the address of the second node, which is 5,500 into the hash table. So this is your hash table, okay, right. So we'll try to add one more uh, key value pair, which is three and 300, okay. So this is the third item that we want to put it in the cache. But as you can see that the capacity of the cache is only for two items. But here we, add, we want to add one more item into the cache, okay? So now what happens is it applies the strategy which is least recently used. So among one and two, the least recently used is one. So what will happen is it will look into the hash table. So in the hash table, so one is the key, right? So the address where the node is, a, is at 5000. So directly it goes to 5000 and it will remove this particular node from the double linked list. And after removing this node from the doubly linked list, so among two and three, okay, so two is already there in the cache, and then we want to add three, right? Among two and two, uh, three keys, three is the most recent use. So that's the one which we are using right now. So two is the least recent use. So three will go to the end of the queue, okay? So end of the doubly linked list. So three will come here, three and 300. And head will point to the second node. So this will be head right now. So two head will be pointing to two right now. And the, the links will appear like this, the forward and the backward link. And tail will be pointing to the third node. And then what happened? One and 5,000 will be removed from the hash table. And then we have three. And then say the address of this node is 6,000. So three comma 6,000 will be added into the hash table. So this is how the put operation will take place. Now we'll see how the get operation will take place. Okay. So coming to the get operation. Okay. So say for example, I have one and two in the cache. Okay. So the maximum number of nodes are already there. Okay. Right. This is your head and this is the tail. Okay. Right. So I am saying get. Okay. So get which is one. So what it will do, it will look into the hash table. So in the hash table, so we already have like 1 comma 5,000. So 5,000 is the address of the node one. So the lookup is constant time. So directly it goes to the one node. Okay. So and what it will do is it will retrieve the value for the key one. So the value for the key one is 100. So what it will do is it will retrieve and it will give the output of this get one will be 100. Not only this, what it will do is because among one and two, one has been now accessed so it is a most recently accessed one so it has to go into the end of the queue so one will be deleted from the front of the queue and it will be added to the end of the queue because we are maintaining head and tail in such a way that the least recently used ones will be pointed by the head always so since among one and two we recently accessed one right so one will go to the end of the queue end of the double linked list because one is like most recently access the data so one goes to the end of the queue now okay so and then the links will happen like this and this will be the tail right now so this will be head right now okay so this is how the get operation will take place so in case if for example i have a key so i am trying to access a uh, data which is not there in the double linked list so i'm saying get three three is not there in the queue right so what it will do is it will actually look up into the hash table so three is not there so it will return that none okay so it will say that it is not there so to represent that a particular key is not there in the double linked list or not there in the cache we are giving a minus one so it will return a minus one if that particular key is not present in the cache okay so if the key is present then it returns the value if the key is not present it will return a minus one so this is how the get and the put operations will take place so now we'll see the program so let me explain you the program. So coming to the program. So as you can see that we have taken the ordered dict from the selections of package. Okay, fine. So ordered dictionary will maintain the data as we have inserted. Okay, so as it is inserted, it will maintain the order 
how we have inserted it and then uh, so this is the class which is lru cache and inside this init method we are initializing the capacity okay and then we are initializing we are creating a ordered dictionary with the cache object okay right so next we will see what is the put operation so coming to the put operation so it is taking an uh, key and a value and both are of integer type and this is the return type of this particular function so what we are doing here say like in the if condition here we are saying if e in self dot cache okay so if e is already present in the cache so say for example i want to put one okay so one comma hundred okay uh, which is already there in the double integral again i am saying one comma five hundred okay so i want to put one comma five hundred again in the cache so the key is one right so one is already there so one and hundred is already there in the double integral okay but since this is now most recently used so what we are doing is we have to put it at the end of the double integral right so we'll actually pop this out so take off this from the double integral so that's what we have done here and then what we are doing is we are actually updating the key with the value that is newly entered and then we are adding it at the end of the double integral so if the cache is already full okay so if the cache is already full like we just need to remove the least recently used ones as i said like we are maintaining an ordered dictionary in the ordered dictionary the least recent one is in the front of the double integral list right so that's why what we are doing is we are actually setting last to be false when we set last to be false what it will do is it will set the first to be true so we are removing the first item in the double integral list over here if the capacity is full right okay so if the capacity is full we are removing the first item in the ordered dictionary by setting the last is equal to false if we are not setting last is equal to false it will remove the last item so we don't want to remove the last item we want to remove the least recently used one so that's why we are saying last is equal to false so after we have popped out the least recently used item now we need to add the key and the value to the cache okay right so that's what we are doing we are saying self dot cache of key is equal to value so we are updating it if it is already present also we are updating it if it is not present also we are making room for one more item in the cache and then we are adding the new item to the cache okay so that's what we are doing with the put method now we'll see how the get method works now coming to the get method so say for example i already have 1 and 2 in the cache okay so 1 and 2 are already there in the cache and the value for 1 is 100 and the value for 2 is 200 okay so the double linked list is like this and this is the head and this is the tail as i already told you that the least recent is in the front of the double linked list which is yeah, which is a head okay so now i said like get okay so get of 1 okay so when i say get of one uh, so as i said like there will be a hash table here like which will be looking up okay so one so say for example there is 5000 over here so it directly goes to this particular node okay and fetches the value that is associated with the key so it will return you the uh, value which is 100 so that's what is happening here as you just look at the get function so the get function is taking the key which is of integer and the return type of this is an integer because the value that it, this function is going to return is also a integer and if key in self dot cache so if key is present in self dot cache what we are doing is we are popping it out and we are giving it to the value okay and then what we are doing is we are saying self dot cache key is equal to value and we are returning the value and what we are doing over here is as i said like when i accessed one okay so it means that one is now the most recently used one and among one and two if you see because i have tried to access one right now two has become the least recently used so what should happen one need to come out of the double linked list and then we just need to add one at the back of the list because this is now the most recently used as i said the head of the double linked list will be pointing to the least recently used and among 1 and 2 2 is the least recently used key so that has to come to the front of the key so that's what we have done here we said self dot cache dot pop of key so what happens it not only pops out the item from the key and it gives the value and the value is set to this particular uh, variable which is value 
and now we are adding it again to the uh, uh, w link to list but this time we are adding it at the end so that's why we popped it out and then we are adding it so since it is an ordered dictionary it will be added at the end so self dot cache of key is equal to value and then we are returning the value so this will return a value so if key is not present in the cache then what it will do it will return minus 1 so minus 1 will be written if this particular key is not present in the cache so in this particular driver code what i have done is i have created a cache of capacity 2 as i said i have added one and two keys into the cache so this will actually add them so one is added in the beginning and then you also have two added like this okay so this is how it looks right now so this is the head and this is the tail and i try to put the data of uh, the key one and two on the screen so these two lines will produce uh, output as uh, 100 and the next output will be 200 so let us see what will be this one this is like i am saying cash dot put 3 comma 300 so since the capacity of the cache is 2 there is no room for 3 right so we have to remove the least recently used one so what is the least recently used which is nothing but which is pointed by the head okay so as it is ordered dictionary whatever is in the front of the ordered dictionary is the least recent one so we are removing one out of the ordered dictionary and then we are adding three uh, among three and two three is the most recently used one so that has to go at the end of the w linked list so three comes here and then head will now point to 2 and this will be pointed by the tail. So th this has happened in the put. Now I try to access 1. So it will check whether 1 is there in the cache or not. 1 is not there in the cache. So this line will result in, in minus 1. So then I try to access what is the value for 2. 2 is there in the cache. So I'll be getting 200. And then for 3, I'll be getting 300 because 300 is also there. And among 2 and 3, um, the least recent one is 2 again because 2 followed by 3 I have done. So again, this is intact. So next, I have asked for uh, uh, putting four uh, key 4 with 400. So if you just see that the capacity is already full, right? So we just need to remove the least recently used one and which is 2 right now. So what are there among 3 and 4? 3 is the least recent, so it comes to the front of the W linked list. So head is uh, pointed by 3. And then 4 is added at the end of the W linked list. So this is 4 and 400. And this is how it is right now. So when I try to access 2, two key, so it will give me a minus 1. And when I try to access 3, it will give me a 300. And when I try to access 4, it will give me a 400. Okay, right. So if I try to access 4 first, okay, so if I just jumble these two lines, like 4 first and 3 first, so what will happen is uh, 3 because I am trying to access 3 after 4. So what has happened, 3 is now become the most recently used one. So what will happen, so 3 will be uh, dequeued from the W linked list and then we'll be adding 3 at the end of the W linked list. So what will happen, 4 will be here. And then 3 will be at the end of the W linked list because 3 is now the re recent one. Okay, so most recent one. So head will come here. So 4 will have the head and then tail will be at 3 right now. So that's how it will be if I access 4 first and then 3. So let us see the output. So you can see as I said like get 1 is giving 100, get 2 is giving 200. Then after that we have added 3, right? So that's why it is giving 1. When I say get 1, it is giving minus 1. And then get 2 and 3 uh, is giving 200 and 300. Later, we have added 4, right? So that's why 2 has been taken out from the cache. Uh, so we have 3 and 400. So when I try to access 3 and 400, it is showing me 300 and 400. But when I try to access 2, it is giving a minus 1 because 2 has been removed from the cache and 4 is added into the cache, okay? So this is how the LRU cache works. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.